Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zulba Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out a brand new city builder, where the goal isn't necessarily to build a city outwards, as it is to build a city upwards. This is Vertical Kingdom, and uh, this is kind of a quirky one. Let's jump into things and see what we have got going on. You can actually play in two different modes. I'm going to be playing on Free Mode uh, and on Wooded Peaks, just because I think it's probably the best way of, uh, I guess, explaining and showing everything that this game has to offer. And indeed, it has quite a lot to offer. Uh, so, uh, there is a little bit of a premise. We are the great architect of the Glorious Empire. We've been given a little bit of land to uh, to, to, to build our magical city, and we will indeed do that. Uh, I say magical not in the literal magical sense, but more magical in terms of, you know, radiant beauty. Anyway, uh, we have in front of us a mountain um, with a lovely sort of series of chiseled plateaus set into it. Uh, this is where we're going to be building our city very excitingly. Uh, we have got our resources up in the top left hand corner. We have got probably the most important resource of all, loyalty. If this drops to zero, it's game over. We've got our workers of the city and then we've got food, bricks, water, uh, wood, stone and metal. Now over here we have our current objectives. These are population objectives. We need to get to a certain population in order to level up the city and in order to unlock additional cards and additional abilities. We'll talk about the cards and abilities in a second. Uh, we've got our finances down in the bottom left-hand corner. We have no money at the moment. Uh, that is because uh, we have none. Um, we are we are poor. We have nothing. Um, what we do, uh, we click on this little button over here, and this gives us a swathe of brand new cards. Cards cost... Uh, they cost, they cost things per turn, and they cost things to build. One food per turn, uh, one brick to build. Uh, there's also some like special abilities down the side here. Uh, if you have... If you have this card with this label and another card in your hand with the same label, clicking it will discard both to obtain a destroy building card. That can be quite handy if you need to get rid of a building because you can't just delete buildings just like that. In the same way, this allows you to re-roll the same card without any penalty. Like, this doesn't really particularly matter. Uh, the point is, is that if we build, uh, where should we build? Let's build... Let's build down here. Let's start Let's start down at the bottom of the world. Uh, if we build, uh, we get a singular coin. Look at that. It's a lovely bronze coin. And if we build a second, uh-oh, we're not going to get a coin, or we're not predicted to get a coin, because this specific type of house uh, doesn't like to be... doesn't like to be next door to, uh, to the same types of houses. So instead, let's maybe... Let's build you over here. I don't want to get too prescriptive about the specific distances because there's going to be a whole bunch of different buildings that we unlock in the interim that will allow us to sort of change the, the design and look of our city. Anyway, when we're out of cards, we click the card button. Boom, as you can see, all of our values update uh, accordingly. Now, there are a couple of sort of, I guess, special cards uh, that allow us to do funky stuff with the buildings that we already have. Clicking this card discards all the cards in your hand and you receive loyalty equal to the discarded cards multiplied by two. Uh, I'll take that. Sure, okay. Unfortunately, it's a cap of 100. Not like it particularly matters. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, clicking this card, all building cards in your hand change their initial building material cost to one. Uh, I don't think that's going to matter at all, because our building costs are already one, uh, but I'll click it anyway. That's that's fine. Let's move over here, and we're heading close to heading close to that magic number of five. Phenomenal. A new card has been unlocked. You can buy it in the store. This is where the game starts to get quite interesting and, uh, dare I say, quite potentially complicated. So, uh, we have this little card store up in the uh, top right-hand corner here. Uh, it's going to cost us nothing to buy this brick tower. This brick tower... You won't believe this. Uh, uh, yeah, let's discard that card, sure. Um, this, uh, this this brick tower, this brick tower is uh, is gonna allow us to build stuff on top of uh, on top of it. So we can build a brick tower there, a brick tower there. Fantastic, and we actually uh, we move up we move up to the next level, and we have the opportunity to choose whatever we want, and. I could choose any resource, but I think I'll probably choose money for reasons which are going to become clear in just a second. We'll return to this in just a moment. But the point is, we can build a brick tower on top of a brick tower. We can stack up those bonuses. We can be affected by a whole bunch of stuff. And then we can build one of these guys on top, if indeed we want to. And boom, 
what do you know? We've got a lovely looking, uh, a lovely looking building there, and we've also unlocked another card, which is, uh, which is a well. Anyway, a couple of reasons that I chose, uh, that I chose the money. Um, the reason that I chose the money primarily is because of this interface. This is the, I guess, progress point interface. Uh, we have got all of these things. They cost one single progress point. For example, uh, allows us to increase the, the size of our hand by one and retain an additional card without discarding. It's gonna cost us one progress point. We've got two, as you can see up in the top left hand corner. I will take that. That is a great thing to have. There's also a bunch of other sort of different buildings uh, that we can unlock. One, for example, is the market. It generates coins per turn based on nearby residences at the time of its construction. Once unlocked, you have to buy the card in the store. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get it super early because I think it's going to be a great way to generate a little bit of uh, a little bit of coinage. But the point is, is that this card is very, very expensive. It costs 50 coins, uh, which is exactly why I think it's a really, really valuable investment. We can actually buy both. To be fair, we can buy both the well and the uh, and the market. But I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going to get that. Uh, that marketplace primarily because I think it's going to be really, really valuable. Now, when we have got a sufficiently large uh, swathe of buildings to choose from, uh, we are actually able to set the order of operations that we want to see. So we're going to see residential cards, uh, we're going to see special cards, and then we're going to see farming cards after that. Sure, I think that seems pretty decent. Uh, in the same way, we could go residential, 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 uh, or we can do, you know, whatever we want. Uh, what did I say? Residential, special, farming. That seems good to me. Okay, uh, so what have we got here? We've got a marketplace. Now, uh, this marketplace is not buildable at the present moment because we don't have the stone. That is a shame. That's a real, real shame. We need to be able to try and find the stone. We need to be able to try and get stone in order to make this uh, in order to make this happen because getting getting this would be great. Uh, we have the ability to combine this with another card, actually. Yeah, combine this card with the farm card to obtain the food export market. Very, very cool. If we could work towards that, I would be quite happy. Uh, do I want to do anything specific here? No, probably just... Probably just work on a few different things. We'll maybe get... Maybe get a well over here. Try and sort of spread the buildings out a little bit. I, I really hate building these basic houses. They're so demoralizingly bad. I want to save this space for a market if it's large enough. None's going to go there. Let's build you... Build you on the edge there. Sure. And then let's see if we can try and redraw. Excellent. Help with the X3 label. Keep this card in your hand for it to count as a building card for X3. Um, Yeah, that doesn't really particularly matter for us right now. I'm going to re-roll the... Re-roll the market we could do with something else. Uh, that's actually kind of nice. That's actually kind of nice. So what we can do is we can actually utilize this ability in order to get ourselves a well level two, which is kind of nice. Um, it allows us to upgrade a existing well, which is amazing because that means that we are able to get uh, all of the resources but with a smaller footprint, which is really kind of nice. I actually also think it counts. Yeah, it counts as more uh, positive coin generation for us, which is uh, which is quite good. Not like I'm going to utilize it because uh, that seems like a bad idea. Uh, let's discard this card, and then let's see what we've got. Right. Okay. Well, this is a, this is a tower. This is what we need. Um, Ooh, so this is an interesting little modifier here. This building can be constructed both horizontally and vertically on other buildings like them or on special buildings like anchors. Uh, I think we're going to immediately do that because, uh, oh my goodness, that is at a, an incredible, an incredible amount of, uh, of coins, which is quite nice. It's also a pretty decent number of workers. Another well. Throw this down over there. Sure. I'll reroll you. Uh, four coins. It's not bad, you know. I'll take it. Sure. And we unlocked a brand new card. It's a farm. Amazing. Okay. Because we do need to kind of stop our mad decline in terms of food. And it would be good to have another building. Uh, another building in the mix. Let's go farming, residential. Is, is now the time for specials? Sure. 
Another marketplace. Goodness gracious me, video game. You can give me something other than a marketplace. That would be just fine. Uh, yeah, we can build you horizontally. Although that being said, I think the, I think the marketplace is going to fit in here really, really nicely. I think it's the right size. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for stone. That's a, That's absolutely amazing. I will take stone. Let's forget about that for a second. I can do this. I can absolutely do this. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's a really, really, really good chunk of uh, chunk of cash that we can make from there. Uh, it's not it's not super. It's not you know a hundred percent optimized, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think I might just go for it. You know, I think I might just go for it. I mean, it's going to give me ten coins per turn, which seems like a pretty sizable amount of coins per turn. Uh, I can always reroll you to get another market. Amazing. Um. One card that we can keep. You know what? Just just build it. Just build it. Let's not let's not nickel and dime it. Let's let's just get it out of the way. Plus ten income per turn is pretty decent. I mean, I don't have any cards at the moment that we need to worry about. Uh, I do have lots of points that I need to spend though. Uh, we can uh, move on up to the next level of city if we're able to get twenty citizens. We are on seventeen at the moment, so we need to be uh, sort of heading towards that at a at a pretty decent rate. Also, can I build? Ooh, they markets do not like being next to one another. That's fine. That is fine. That is completely fine. Let's get this over here. There we go. And then let's get these progress points unlocked, shall we? Temple. Uh, yeah, I could take a temple. A forest to produce woods. Basic woodcutter building to gather resources. Uh, fertilizer. F farm food production is increased by five, but they need one more water. I'll take that. Sure. A stone pillar. I'll take that as well. Sure. It's pretty cheap. So we've got two turns of food left. Do we have any cards in the store to buy? Uh, don't really feel like I need to do that at this moment in time. <sighs> Goodness gracious me. Okay, I, I, I've had enough markets, video game. Give me... Give me something else. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I need to see. Fantastic. Give me more money. Yes, please. That is amazing. 13 just for building it like next to the market. Oh, that is amazing. I really hate this card. Clicking this label discards all cards from your hand without penalty. I will take that. That's amazing. I am so low on food. I am so low on food. What is this? Clicking this card, you receive up to seven cards in your hand without passing turns. Um, I'll play that after I finish up with this. We can... We can play this over here. I'm going to play this here. A brick platform. Don't feel compelled to get that right now, but we might. Combine with a brick house in order to upgrade it? That's... An interesting comment. Let's build this up here. Okay, we're only on minus six food at the moment. Because I think we've got that bonus, remember? Which is quite nice. I've got zero progress points, so it's not like I can do anything. But um, but that's fine. Can I discard any of these cards? I can reroll you. That's fine. Um, tell you what. Fill my hand. Fill my hand. Give it to me. Okay. There's a lot of stuff to there's a lot of stuff to take away from this. First of all, the well, that's a three bonus. That's a three bonus. I think we're gonna reroll you. Uh this is kind of interesting actually, because what we can do is we can actually combine this card with a uh we combine it with a brick house, but we don't actually have a brick house at the moment. We only have a small brick house. But we can combine this, we can combine this with a farm in order to obtain a food export market, which I think we can build if we get 40 food per turn, which we are not very close to, but that's okay. Um, the issue is going to be food. The issue really is food. Let's reroll this. I'm really looking for a, I'm really looking for a farm. That food export market I'm going to keep because we're absolutely going to get that. Uh, wood, we don't particularly need. I mean, we don't really need anything other than food right now. Don't want to buy either of those. 
I feel like it's maybe a bad time to be expanding, but I'm going to expand nonetheless. A brick house. That's a really important upgrade to have. I kind of dig that. Uh, I'm also kind of thinking I can head towards three population. There is a not insignificant chance that I'm able to nail three population right now. I do not want this to happen. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Um, that that's not unfortunately going to get us the right population that we need to that we need to see. Number of cards that you can keep. We can keep one card. I'm going to keep this, but it is absolutely going to torpedo my. Um, it's going to torpedo my uh, my everything. Tell you what, are we okay for water? We're okay for water for now. I might want to preemptively get another well. Build a well up there. Okay. Then let's go to the next turn. Discard, discard, discard. Discard them all. Keep the food market. I need farming. I don't need specials. I don't need to see specials ever again as far as I'm concerned. And we can do that. Okay. Okay. Great architect. Bad news, we don't have enough resources to meet our turn, uh, or to meet resources this turn. Each unit of unfulfilled resources will decrease lo loyalty by one point. Yes. So very, very important that we sort out food. Uh, basically, yesterday. Very, very important indeed. Uh, the good news is, is that this is going to get us right back on track. Let's leave a little bit of space between them. In fact, let's build this all the way at the other end. There we go. Okay. We're fine for food now. We're fine for food. And uh, we can... Yeah, you don't want to build. I presume it's because we just do not have the food. And that's it, actually. It's literally just the food that we need. We've got everything else. But that's going to get us 20 gold per turn. That's a lot. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that for literally as long as I can. Okay. We can build you sideways. So there's still a little bit of mileage that we can extort over here. That's good. It's going to get our population very, very close to where we need to be. Very, very close. Also, look at that. I've got myself a gold coin. That's great news. Uh, wells, by the way, can only be built on the ground. Sure, build that over there. Right. And then we'll move forward. Okay, the crisis of a lack of resources is over. Don't worry, I fixed the problem. We now have three food. I'm 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 solving this problem. I'm solving this problem one little one little piece at a time. Oh, what I should do is I should buy the brick house. The brick house is very, very important to my plans. In fact, you know what? I'll buy everything. Give me everything. I'm I'm I've got the money to got the money to splash. Uh we can also Yeah, we can get this. We can get this upgraded. I'd love to get this upgraded, actually. Let's get one more basic farm. One more basic farm over there. In fact, you know what? Let's get two more basic farms. What do I need? What's the issue? Oh, the issue is workers. Well, I'll tell you what. We can fix that relatively easily. Perfect. Amazing. Food, stone, wood. What do I need? Bricks. Uh, I don't really need any of these things. I'll take food, I guess. That'll keep me. That'll keep me in a positive position. Ooh, very exciting. Uh, we've managed to surpass the twenty. Uh, the twenty citizen milestone, which is quite good. If we level up, though, things are going to get more challenging. I'm ready for it, though. Let's do it. Uh, right, so we get access to a whole bunch of other stuff on this level. We can get new platforms. We can get a guardhouse to give us loyalty and security. Uh, we also need to get this temple down here. I'll get this temple over here. Also, what, what, what is this? Allows us to unlock, uh, to add a 3x label to the basic brick house card. I'll do that, actually. That's pretty good to do. Brick houses cost one more brick, but give one more worker. Again, probably pretty good thing to do. Uh, can I, yeah, I can draw right now because I'm a level two city. That means that I can get, uh, I can keep two cards in my hand, which is quite nice. Farm Quite good. Let's re-roll you. I'm kind of hoping for a brick house, honestly. That was a mistake. Didn't mean to do that. Um, that's fine. Reroll you. Eh. Oh, I see. 
this building has capacity to upgrade lower level buildings of the same type. Amazing. I'll do it. A basic stone quarry. Very, very cool. Okay. Um, we're actually in a bit of a better position now. Uh, I may have fumbled the... I may have fumbled that big building that I wanted to keep. But that's okay. Let's get specials. Residential farming platforms. Sure, because I haven't used them yet at all. Okay, what have we got going on here? This is the brick house. This is what we need. And in fact, the brick house can be combined with the farm in order to, boom, make a farm level two, which is amazing. Really, really good. Also, I need to unlock the quarry. I'm loaded, remember? I've got loads of money. I shouldn't be afraid of spending it. Okay, uh, combine this card with a big stone house to obtain the farm level 3. Anyway, we have the opportunity to combine a bunch of farms. Let's go the farm up here. It's going to give us lots and lots of good stuff. Let's... Let's place a platform. Platforms work in a really kind of cool way. We can place them, like, just around the place, and they just give us extra space to build on, although we can't build stuff like farms on them. Uh, let's reroll you. Mysterious Beetle. Sure. I'm still on negative one loyalty, which isn't great, but that's okay. Ooh, clicking this card, you'll be able to destroy a building in your city. That's really quite valuable, you know? A market combined with a farm. Yeah, do I have the ability to do that? No, not yet. A brick house. Yeah, I also haven't utilized a brick house. Oh, look at that. That is... Brick house is really, really good. And uh, we can build that right on top there. A stone tower? I'll absolutely get myself a stone tower. Even though I don't have any way to get stone at the moment. I do have the quarry unlocked. I just haven't built it yet. Uh, the market. Yeah, see, look at this. The market can't actually go on the stone tower. But it can go... Like, in other places. It's just not actually that worthwhile. Destroy building. Do I want to destroy a building? Is there any building that I want to destroy? Potentially, actually. You know, maybe this. Yeah, destroy that building. And sort of all of the crummy little ones down here. Yeah, I, I don't really think that the stone plinth is that worthwhile. Uh, number of cards that you can keep. Yeah, I'm going to destroy... Yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe, I guess. It, is, it doesn't really matter to me. Only dry land. Clicking this card, nothing happens. Great. Amazing. Ooh, okay. I can draw up to the maximum, the, up to the maximum limit. That's quite nice. This is looking, this is looking funky over here. I love how the buildings sort of just fuse together. It's amazing. Okay, give me up to seven cards. I'll take that. Love a no penalty card. We've got so many flipping markets. We've got markets coming out of the wazoo. The good news is, though, I am able to combine. That's great. Um, I can build this, and I can sell food from the city, right? I've got all the resources, I think. I've got them all. Please, let me, let me find a place for this. That's got to be enough. That's got to be enough. I'm not... I, I'm not going crazy, am I? There's not a specific location that it has to get built. I should have the resources to do everything here. Yeah, we can't build it on, on the platforms. Oh, man. This is this is really going to suck if we can't build this. I don't think I can rotate it either. Is there no is there no way that we can Is there nowhere that we can build it? I do, I don't think there is, you know. Oh, man. That really really sucks if that's the case. Does it have to be built here? It kind of looks like it has to be built here, doesn't it? In this vicinity somewhere. I don't know. Is there something in the tutorial about it?
I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I know the labels are a key element. Oh, man. Tower houses are capable of... Maybe? Ah... Okay, well, that is gonna that is gonna remain out of my grasp for at least a little while longer. To to satiate my soul, look at this, look at this, look at this monstrosity that we're building. I'll take a sand extractor as well. That's good. Let's also continue to. There we go. Look at that. You never know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Get a well down there. And... Cool. Discard, discard. I'm, I'm gonna keep this darn thing as long as I possibly can. Oh, we can even go two... We can go two levels up. It's it's bridgeception. What about... A, oh, we can't get a market over there because it's it's on... Uh, it's it's heavy. I can combine... I can combine... I can combine... Uh, I can combine this and I can combine this, can't I? To get a to get another to get another food export market. Not like it particularly matters, but there we go. Uh, do I have any points to spend here? No, I don't think I do. Right, construction, mining, residential. I am done with specials. We don't need to worry about specials anymore. Right. Uh, oh, I tell you what. Activate, activate the the three the three timer to get uh, to get the next level. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to utilize that. I need a stone area. Yeah, so it's going to have to be up here. Um, we're not going to be able to get the quarry level two quite yet. Not far away though. Not far away. Discard. Discard. Right, what do we got? Clicking this card, uh, we receive up to the limit. Okay, uh, tell you what we can do. Oh, what do I want? Do I want bricks? Or do I want basic quarry? Because if I get basic quarry, we can actually... I should get bricks. I should really get bricks. It can be done anywhere. Get that over there. Yeah, pile of dry earth. You receive... Oh yeah, we've got that already. Uh, tell you what, let's place this. This is funky, dude. Looks amazing, though. Uh, I will take the bricks, actually, I think. Yeah, bricks we're quite low on at the moment. Uh, brick houses cost one more, but give one more worker. I'll take that. I'll also take the temple that we have thus far passed up on. And then I will take pile of dry earth. It fills my hand with junk. Cool. I thought it was going to fill my hand with something useful, but apparently it, it didn't. Uh, right. So if I utilize this, there we go. That is going to give me a level two card for this. Which I cannot build for what reason? I do not have the workers. Next, next time. Our food warehouse is full. The situation brings stability. So our loyalty and happiness will increase by five points. That's amazing. Fantastic. Okay, uh, next. Let's get this sorted. Okay, we've got an upgraded quarry and an upgraded brick house. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Not like it particularly matters at the moment because I do not have the ability to... Do anything. Uh, platforms, sure. I need residential houses. I don't have the workers needed to work in these uh, extraction facilities quite yet, so we're working on it. I do not want to do that. I want workers. Oh man, look at how cool this looks. Big stone house, love it. Just when we're getting into stone houses. Also, that's the temple. Buy both of those. Very nice. Okay, get that upgraded, and we actually have exactly the right number of workers to get that upgraded. 
Nice. Okay, so that's stone and it's also... Oh, look at this. This is the Leaning Tower. The Leaning Tower of, of Stone. I shouldn't be in charge of naming things. Ugh. You know what? Just give me a rerun of that. Give me a rerun of that hand. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Receive cards into your hand up to the limit. I will utilize that. I will utilize that in a bit. Is there nothing else that I can do over here? See, you're... I need support underneath it. Yeah. It's like, we're... Oh, and stone towers can't be built on there. Like, we're, we're close to making this work. Maybe we should be setting up, like, a brand new... Maybe we should be setting up a brand new area that we can look to plop a market down. Do we actually have... A facility where that works? Here, maybe? Don't hate it? Don't love it? Sure, I'll build it over there. We've reached a significant number of citizens. They're beginning to demand more stuff. Oh no, look at all this. Look at all this. Okay, we unlocked a brand new stone platform. Very cool. I'll take it. Uh, let's do ancient dice. Fill up our hand a little bit. Uh, still not super useful. Although that being said, like we can just like stack these up on top of one another. I tell you what, I'll take the loyalty bonus. I don't think that we need anything else. Um, get rid of that for just two seconds. Faith. We need faith. We need to get some. We need to get some temples down. We need to get some temples down. Stone platform. I'd love a stone platform. Let's build that there, and then let's build this here. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, woodcutter. Mm. Almost seems like an absolute waste to utilize one of those small, crummy old buildings. Amazing. I, I, I don't know how it works, but it does. Okay, we got a brickworks there. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Keep... Keep keeping on. I'll take it. I, I really have no idea how we can continue to do this. I'm a little bit low on the old food, though. A gold mine? Oh, yes, please. I'll take a gold mine. Uh, in fact, we can't even get a gold mine yet because we're so backlogged in buildings. Gold mine is 200, but it's plus 50 coins per turn. So that'll pay for itself in uh, four turns by my calculations. Some citizens' needs are extremely low. Yeah, they're very, very low on faith. Let me tell you, there's nothing that I can do until I get, uh, until I get a temple. Sure. Reroll. Reroll. Stone plinth. I don't love. I don't love this at all. Don't love that at all either. I'll get this upgraded though. That seems like a good thing to do. Reroll you. Watering can discards all the dry land event from your end. You receive the same amount of fertile land cards. Well, that's useful in some very, very select situations. Uh, we can also build on this stone pillar with stone buildings, by the way, which is quite nice. We'll build that over there. Loyalty? Food? No, I need faith, but I'll take loyalty, to be honest, because that's going to give me some positive momentum. I really need something to generate me loyalty here. Yeah. I'm in desperate need of a temple. Desperate need of a temple, but my population is looking really, really good. Reroll. Uh, give me seven-sided. I'm really hoping for another three-banger that's just going to allow me to delete all of these piddly little cards from my hand. That works too, I suppose. Gets rid of everything. Right, I need special. Oh, well, actually, I need citizens' needs. Don't need special. Then farming, then residential, then... 
construction maybe? I actually need like a sawmill of some sort. This is what I need. What's the issue? It's flipping wood, isn't it? It's wood. Yeah, okay. This is problematic. Uh, I'll tell you why this is problematic. It's because I need I need this uh I need this forester. I need this forester. I don't have the forester at the moment. Yeah, see, this is this is this is what I need, but I don't have the goods at the moment. Uh, which is potentially a little bit problematic. If I'm honest. I cannot believe this is a legal building. <laughs> this is an absolute this is an absolute disgrace. And yet, I'm getting paid to build this thing. Two cards. We can keep two cards. You know what? Okay, tell you what, give me a give me a farm. Farm down there. Loyalty of the town is really low. Yeah, it's not great, is it? It's not great. It's really not great. It's really not good. It's really not good. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, actually, because I've not been paying attention to the time, but also because I feel like uh, things are probably going to get really, really bad in my city uh, very, very shortly. Uh, we're going to wrap this episode up. Uh, Vertical Kingdom, ladies and gents, pretty darn good. I mean, I'm just playing on one map. Um, there is like a whole bunch of different maps across the Empire that you can play as. There's also like a little rogue-like mode where you can go through different maps, which is kind of cool as well. Uh, kind of, you know, interesting to see if that is indeed your thing. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.